Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and it's December, which means that Christmas is coming. Now, if you're stuck on what to ask for for Christmas, let me suggest something to you. This is a present I bought for myself earlier in the year. It's called Pyramid Arcade, and it's a big box collection of a bunch of different board games, many of which I use in my English classroom. So let's take a look through the box, and then I'll show you two of the games that I use using the pieces in this set. So when you open up the box, we have a big, thick instruction manual, over 70 pages about each different game. There are quite a few games here, as you can see. Then we have some boards that you can use to play the various different games. There is a special deck of playing cards. It's a square deck with an extra suit, so there are five suits in this pack of playing cards. There are various dice that you would need for different games. But the key component of this entire set are these unique pyramid pieces. And there are sets of three. You have a small, medium, and large in each of ten colors, and three sets of each. So, nine greens, nine blues, and so on, totaling 90 pieces. Let's take some out, and I'll show you how to play a few games. Our first game, I call it Tower Building Game. But what you'll need from the set would be all the pyramids and then the deck of playing cards. If you wanted to make your own homemade version of this, you would need to collect things over time, maybe things like bottle caps or dice or erasers of the same size. They need to be things of uniform size, and you need a lot of them. So let me show you how you play with the set, and you can use your imagination to how you would do this with household items. Okay, for this game, you're going to use many of the different sets, but you're going to separate them into large, medium, and small. And then you need this selection dice for the size and the deck of cards. The way that you play it, I like to have two teams uh, building two separate towers. But player one on, the, on team A, let's say, come and roll the dice. And you get to choose. Do you want to start with large or small? Maybe they choose large. So you take one set of the three larges doesn't matter the color. And you need to place them on the table in a way that they are touching each other. And you take a card and you place it on top. Now the next team would go, so the first player from Team B would do the same thing and start Team B's tower. When it came back to Team A, the next student rolls. It's a, it's a medium. So same thing. We're going to try to continue building this tower. Now remember, these pieces need to touch. I stack the next level of the tower on, and we keep going until one of the students knocks their tower over. That team loses, the other team wins. The other game I'll show you, I call it tree collecting. In order to play this game, you need the nine pieces of five different colors in our pyramid set and two of the special dice. Now again, you could probably make this or make some version of this using household pieces, but I'll leave that to you and I'll just show you how to play the game using the pieces in the box. In this game, you need all nine pieces of each of these five colors. You need this dice to select the color, and you need this dice to select the size of the piece in question. I like to break my class into three or four teams, and each of those teams will have a different collection area. This area is the bank table. So we're going to invite our students up one at a time. A student will roll. Oh, I'm glad this came up. This is the only non-colored side on this dice, and it's wild. It's a joker. You can choose. What color do you want? And this one will let you choose between a medium or a large piece. So let's say I choose purple, a big purple. Okay, I put this into the bank table. It's not mine yet unless I say stop. Do I want to keep going or stop? I'll keep going. I'll roll the dice again. This time I get a small yellow. Do you want to keep going or stop? If I, now, if I roll either purple or green, it's a bust and these pieces need to be returned into the bank. Maybe I'll say stop. I want to collect these. The next player to go rolls, does the same thing until either that player breaks or they say stop. Now, eventually, you'll find out that all of a certain piece are missing from the bank. And if a student rolls that, he or she can choose who she wants to take it from. I'll take it from this team. If we roll purple again, let's say this were purple, it's broken. This is a bust. This does not get returned to the team from which it was taken. It goes back to the bank. So what's the purpose of this game? 
Well, you win the game by collecting trees. A tree would be three of the different pieces of a single color. So this is the purple tree. Now, if you have a large class or you're working on limited time for your activity, I would set the limit as whoever, whichever team collects two different colored trees first, you're the winner. So it would look something like this is my collection. I have two different trees, my team wins. If you have more time or a smaller class, you can make it be collecting of three trees or this is really just up to you. I like to play two so that it's over quick and then we can move on to the next thing in our lesson plan. So those are two of maybe the simplest games that you can find in Pyramid Arcade, the set. There are over 30 games listed in the instruction manual, not all of which you could use in the class, but many I have. Uh, regardless of whether or not you do end up buying this or asking for it for Christmas, these two games I think are things that you could accomplish using household items. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.